My favorite type of stem cell is embryonic stem cell. So these are the stem cells that are established very, very early in development. A lung stem cell. Oh, it has to be the brain stem cell. I like the hematopoietic stem cell. Leukemic stem cell. Hematopoietic stem cell and also leukemia stem cells. Pre-leukemic stem cells. I have to say hematopoietic stem cell is definitely my favorite. My favorite uh, type of stem cell is, is very similar as, you know, the answering the question for who is your favorite kid. <laughs> I want to welcome you all to our third Stem Cell Institute uh, retreat here in this uh, beautiful facility that we're trying for the first time. It's a little bit of an experiment, but I hope you'll all enjoy it. This is an opportunity for all the faculty and the labs that include trainees and scientists that are part of our Stem Cell Institute to meet, present exciting science that's unpublished or soon to be published and uh, discuss avenues for interaction, collaboration, etc. The Stem Cell Institute, what I'm observing and seeing is really epitomizes what an institute should be. Even though you come from so many departments, there is a big cohesiveness and, and a sense of identity to this institute of what we're doing and what we're trying to achieve. I'm so impressed with this institute. Just the number of people here is incredible. I think this conference room may not be enough next year. You may need a, a bigger room. This is a unique opportunity for all of us to come together and learn from each other in different fields. Uh, commonly, we get into our own spaces, into the, the details. In my case, that's lung stem cells and you know getting into those very specific features but we really know that there's commonalities across stem cells and I think events like this allow us to share our knowledge across fields and maybe that will have some broader impacts as we think about how we can develop new therapies to treat diseases. In general interacting with many other colleagues will give me a good opportunity to learn new things and also hopefully open opportunities for collaborations. Science does not happen in a vacuum we are inspired by each other just like Artists are inspired by going to museums and looking at other people's work. You get inspired by what you learn from others and it might take you into totally new directions that you would not have thought of on your own because you wouldn't have come across that literature in the neural stem cell field because I study the blood system, for example. I don't read a lot of neuronal research. I don't think about the brain that much, but there could be interesting corollaries that are there that I hadn't even thought to consider if I stayed in my vacuum. You have to structure talks that are 10 minutes, which are also not, you know, lecture style. They're really a glimpse of what are we doing in the specific labs, what is the depth and breadth of the research that's going on here at the Stem Cell Institute, and really meant as a conversation starter. That then, of course, extends to the poster sessions, where, of course, more people from the labs are presenting. It's really nice to see um, everyone coming together and talking about every single level, right? The smallest detail, technically or conceptually, actually up until the big broad idea so it's innovation here as well for sure. We come together not only faculty and professors uh, but also our trainees at various levels including postdoctoral researchers, uh, graduate students, uh, undergraduate students and to also give them an opportunity to mingle, to interact with one another and not just within their respective groups and labs. Our bodies are filled with different types of stem cells for the digestive system, the brain, the immune system. So th the room is kind of representative of that. So there's people working on all these different stem cells coming together within this body that is this retreat.